everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to empower and inspire your wig journey. Today we're going to take a look at his style from Wig Pro in my ongoing Wig Pro series. This one is a very affordable and cute little style called Connie, and I have Connie in 1822. Lots of details coming up. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One for this review today. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One if you drop below this video and expand the description box. I will put a link in there directly to this Connie style as well as the other Wig Pro styles. If you have any questions for us, please don't hesitate to reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. So it's really easy to see that Connie is a short little wavy pixie style cut with lots of texture and volume. Now I have added this to my affordable series. As of the date of this filming at Wig Studio One, this style retails right around $150 and Wig Studio One is currently offering 30% off of all Wig Pro automatically, which brings it down to around $100. So I really want to dig into the details about Connie, but I first want to cover this color. I'm so excited that Wig Pro is sending me a variety of colors. I really hope to get around to all of the Wig Pro colors in my review. So this is the Wig Pro 1822. Now it's not a rooted color. This is uh, one of their ashiest colors. So you're going to find a medium to dark ash blonde, and then it is heavily highlighted with a light ash blonde. So this is ash on ash. Based on the texture and the highlight pattern, it really does give you the illusion of depth and dimension and regrowth at the root. Um, this is a really pretty color. Overall, it is a very ash tone and more of a medium to dark blonde shade overall. I feel like this style is very versatile and classic. It kind of never goes out of style. And I think every single brand has something like this. So the fringe is about four inches. Some call this like an eyebrow bang because it just zips right over the eyebrow, eyebrow and stays out of the face very nicely. And based on how this fiber is and the wave and so forth, it doesn't have a whole lot of free movement to be able to just jump into the eyes and that. So wherever you put it, it really does tend to stay. And then there's about a three and a half inches on the sides, maybe three to four inches on the, the, the crown, maybe three to four inches in the back. And then that boils down into about a two and a quarter inch nape. I really feel like there's some nice coverage back there. That cap really does come down um, under that occipital bone and the fiber kind of just scoots right around that ear to cover up any wig lines. Now, Connie is a completely open cap design, and you may hear this also called a capless design. So capless and open cap are basically the same thing. That means you're going to see open track wefts on the top, sides, and back basically all over. The benefit of a cap like this is that it's really cool and comfortable to wear. So I just call these kind of styles just shake and go, or in my words, plug and chug. <laughs> Plug and chug. <laughs> that is uh, my term for a style like this. So even though it's kind of classic in its design, I really feel like it's super versatile too. Um, not just for the mature set, but also I think that these little flips and bends and texture can really lead to some flirty, you know, some flirty looks as well. So there's lots of permatease on Connie. Because this is an open cap, you need permatease for two reasons. You need permatease to cover up the open weft so that you can't look into the style and see the wefting. Um, but you also need it to sustain this really cute, voluminous look. So you're going to find a lot of permatease on the top, on the crown. Basically, every inch of this cap is, is covered by a layer of thick, pillowy permatease. So the fiber on Connie is very impressionable. And what I mean by that is <clears throat> it will just take to your styling techniques. All you're gonna need on this one are some hands. Um, I don't think you're gonna need any cream or paste or styling products because basically however you want 
to style this, it's going to hold its pattern. And that's because these fibers are a little more coarse in texture. So it's just the perfect type of fiber to have on a short little style like this. The fiber actually reminds me a lot of fiber that I reviewed on Liana by Wig Pro. If you're familiar with Liana or have experienced that, it's probably gonna be very similar. But like I say, I just love being able to, on a style like this, to just be able to create all kinds of looks. You can get a windblown look, you can get a smooth look. We're gonna go through all of that in the styling segment, so be sure to hang in there for that. I think this is just long enough that you can get some nice versatility out of it. Now, if you like styles like, and the, the one that comes to mind at first is the, um, is the Raquel Welch's Voltage. Voltage is a very, very popular style by Raquel Welch. This reminds me very much of that one, and it's probably at a similar or lower price point. Um, the other one that it reminds me of is the John Renault's Jazz, um, a short little shag type, type pixie with lots of volume and wave. And this style comes in 32 different colors. Now there are no rooted colors on this style, but you do have a nice variety of blondes, brunettes, and I believe there's a red one in there as well. So as we've talked about, this is just a true shake and go or plug and chug wig style. It only weighs two ounces. It feels really lightweight on the head. There's no fuss, no muss. You don't have to spend much time at all just to get it on and get out the door and it looks perfect every time. Doesn't it look cute with a little turtleneck? I know we're heading into spring and summer here, um, but it will look amazing with turtlenecks or a nice little summery top as well. So with this fiber, I just wanna get in there and show you. Now, I didn't do an unboxing on this one, but this is literally out of the box. I just gave it a shake put it on, arranged it with my fingers. So what you wanna do with this style is, because here's the wig line, pull down some fiber, work with each layer individually for the best look. So the first thing you wanna do is create that layer around the face that hugs the wig line and obscures everything. And that leaves you all of this other fiber to work with. So you can just have a blast with styling this any which way, the messier the better. It's a great tuckable wig. So you've got enough, enough fiber to obscure the ear tabs, but then you just reach around the ear. Here's a quick inside look at the cap for Connie. There's a nice velvet piece right at the front. I always think that gives a nice soft touch to the front, makes it very comfortable to wear. There's a built-in hidden weft there to help obscure the hairline. And then you'll see lots of open wefting on the top, sides, and back throughout this style. You have an open ear tab. All those fibers spliced in helps give you wonderful coverage at the ear tab. There's an extended open nape with Velcro style adjusters. There seems to be an okay amount of stretch. And what I mean by that is, I think this is very much average right out of the box. I had to cinch it in only slightly to accommodate a petite average circumference. So we're gonna do some styling for Connie. I'm just gonna whip this around with my fingers, all just using fingers, no heat, no product. Now this is not a heat friendly style, please be aware. This is made from the regular synthetic fiber by Wig Pro. We're gonna try with glasses and get busy styling Connie. You know, I think it fits really nicely uh, between the ear and the ear tab. There's not a lot of fiber there. Um, I know there is quite a bit of permatease on this cap, but there's not a lot of fiber to push out those arms. So I do feel like it's a glasses friendly style. Thanks so much for joining me today. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. We'll see you again soon.